Iran announced the development of a hypersonic missile capable of overcoming missile defense technologies. However, there are issues regarding whether this is genuine or propaganda. Welcome everyone! In today's video, we're going to tell you Iran new hypersonic missile breaks the laws of physics. Only Russia and China have so far developed hypersonic missiles. They are technologically extremely difficult to produce, and even minor flaws can cause flight failure. That is why some question whether Iran has actually mastered this technique. But before we proceed the further video, if you're new to this channel, remember, go ahead and to hit the bell icon to subscribe, so you won't miss the informative videos we will upload in the future. Iran has declared the development of its first homegrown hypersonic missile, the Fatah. According to a press release, the missile has a declared range of 1,400 kilometers and a maximum speed of Mach 15, which is approximately 18,000 ka, or 15 times the speed of sound. Iran's supreme leader, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, described the development as a major success for the Islamic Revolution. Despite the declaration, questions linger about whether Iran has accomplished a feat previously achieved only by a few more advanced military countries. Hypersonic are a variation on other contemporary missile generations, such as cruise missiles, which are known as hypersonic cruise missiles and are used by a variety of armed forces across the world. In comparison, the U.S. Tomahawk cruise missile travels at around 920 kSA, while the Russian 3M54 Kalibar may reach speeds of up to 3,550 km per hour. Another subcategory is hypersonic glide vehicles, which are hypersonic warheads carried by ballistic missiles. These are typically ground-to-ground -ground systems. During the final portion of the flight, the warhead is detached from the rocket booster and glides at hypersonic speeds towards its target. A cruise missile is powered throughout its flight, unlike a ballistic missile, which employs projectile motion to deliver its warhead. HGVs A's such as the Russian Avangard are said to reach speeds of up to Mach 27. Iran claims the Fatah is a ballistic hypersonic missile. Hypersonic weapons are differentiated by its ability to maneuver while in flight in addition to its great speed. Both of these qualities make it significantly more difficult for anti-missile systems to identify, track, and engage. Brigadier General Emir Ali Hajjasadeh Commander of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, Aerospace Force, claimed that the FATA missile cannot be destroyed by any missile and can breach all anti-missile shields. However, this remark is just incorrect. Even hypersonic missiles can be intercepted. However, it is more difficult than confronting a conventional aerial threat. Iran has yet to test its new missile against foreign systems such as that ED. SAMT or the commonly deployed US-made Patriot surface-to-air missile system. It's worth remembering that the Patriot system allegedly stopped a Russian Kinzhal hypersonic missile over Kivi in May 2023. If Iran does indeed possess hypersonic technology, it will be a member of a truly elite and still very exclusive group. Currently, only China and Russia have deployed hypersonic missiles, according to their assertions. The latter employs the H-47-2 Kinzhal hypersonic air-launched ballistic missile, which has a reported range of roughly 2,000 kilometers and speeds of Mach 710, as witnessed in Ukraine. It is a modified version of the 9 mem 723 Iskander ground-to-ground -ground missile. The Americans are also developing hypersonic technologies. The HTV-2 Falcon hypersonic glide vehicle has a declared maximum speed of Mach 20 during the glide phase, and air-to-air -air missiles include the Hossi. Despite multiple successful testing, the latter project was cancelled earlier this year. Almost all contemporary major powers acknowledge the importance of hypersonic technologies. The projects of this nature are being pursued in a number of countries, although few have produced operationally ready weapon systems. Despite the fact that the theoretical notion dates back to the 1930s in Nazi Germany, hypersonic projectiles achieve amazing speeds, yet ordinary ballistic missiles can also fly at high speeds. They also attain supersonic speeds, particularly during their terminal phase. Iran, for example, possesses the Shahab-3 liquid-propelled medium-range ballistic missile, 
which has been claimed to reach Mach 7 in its terminal stage. Iran has not stated if the FATA missile might reach hypersonic speeds during the beginning phase, which is exceedingly implausible, or at the terminal phase, which is not an unusual feature. The FATA missile's capacity to maneuver while in flight would be a game-changer, but Iran has released no data on this. There is no proof that the FATA has this capability. So does Iran genuinely have these technologies? Only Iranian decision-makers can really address this question. However, there are legitimate concerns regarding Iran's ability to make such a huge advance. After all, Iran is well known for its vast propaganda and false claims of accomplishment. One example is the controversial story about the Quahar 313, which Iranian media portrayed as a stealth fighter aircraft but was actually a propaganda mock-up. Iran recently announced the first product of the quantum processing algorithm which turned out to be a low-cost development board manufactured by the U.S.-based hardware and software company Digilent, available in the market for about $600. In other words, Iranian assertions should not be fully ignored, but rather examined with extreme caution. Hypersonic technologies are far more complex and demanding than the ballistic and cruise missiles already in service. Hypersonic projectiles require exceptionally efficient and stable components, such as high-powered engines. Many tests have failed, and scientists and engineers continue to face numerous obstacles, such as how to create a maneuverable yet robust construction. With such high speeds, even a minor departure from the desired path could result in a calamity. Furthermore, such a projectile must retain high velocity while being resistant to extreme temperatures, friction, and deformation. Second, even obtaining a technical breakthrough in a certain technology does not imply that a particular country possesses the industrial capacity to convert a prototype into a mass-produced and operationally deployed weapon to start a manufacturing process. Advanced production lines and stringent technological requirements are required. The financial component is also important. Because of the exorbitant costs of development and subsequent production, Hypersonic weapons are unlikely to become extensively used. Does Iran have the scientific, industrial, and financial resources to become a hypersonic power? While it cannot be fully ruled out, the idea of Iran being armed with hundreds, if not dozens, of contemporary and unstoppable hypersonic missiles is extremely doubtful. After all, the Iranian arms sector is currently best known for producing low-cost, highly susceptible drones. In two classified assessments distributed to member states and obtained by the journal, the IEAA also stated that Iran's decision to remove agency cameras from nuclear-related sites made it more difficult for the agency to provide assurance of the peaceful nature of Iran's nuclear program. According to a source close to the agency, Iran's withholding of vital information from the IEA might take four months to rebuild a complete image of Iran's nuclear program if the 2015 nuclear deal is renewed. The IOAA stated that after weeks of delay, Iran invited an IEA team to Tehran later this month for negotiations on the so-called safeguards issue. The Director General is seriously concerned that there has still been no progress in clarifying and resolving the outstanding doubts concerning the materials, according to the report. Meanwhile, the agency claimed that Iran's stockpile of 60 enriched uranium increased by 6.7 kilograms to 62.3 kg in the three months ending October 22, considerably beyond the quantity required to manufacture sufficient nuclear fuel for a bomb. That's all for today's video. Iran says that its nuclear program is entirely peaceful, although it is the only non-nuclear weapon country that produces 60 nuclear fuel, which can be quickly transformed into 90 enriched weapons-grade material. Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos from our channel. Thanks for watching and see you all soon.